Archaeologists in Tiel in the Netherlands have discovered a large sanctuary dating from the Late Stone Age and Early Bronze Age to some 4,000 years ago. This discovery is unique to the Netherlands and it was dedicated to the sun, just like Stonehenge in England. My name is Kaylee, and in this video I will tell you all about this latest discovery, the findings, and since almost all information is in Dutch, I'm happy to be the one to tell you all about it. So first, let's take a look at the location of the discovery. The excavations took place in Medel, which is an industrial estate in Tiel, which is a municipality in the province of Gelderland, which of course is located in the mid-east of the Netherlands. So the excavations at the archaeological site started all the way back in 2017. This had been one of the largest archaeological projects in the country. Of course, the country ain't that big, so being one of the largest excavation projects in the country isn't that surprising. So back in 2017, excavation started in the floodplains of the Waal River, which is the main distributary branch of the River Rhine, and it flows for some 80 kilometers through the Netherlands. So for many years, the excavations continued until recently, and last week the discovery was announced to the public. Many people thought it was strange that it took the researchers this long to announce this unique and amazing discovery, but it is actually easily explained because the excavations took place in small excavation pits. So after the excavations were concluded, the researchers fitted the drawings of the separate excavation pits together as a kind of a puzzle. After they finished mapping out this puzzle, they noticed a huge area that had been laid out in its entirety as a landscape filled with important ritualistic places. So the landscape was a sanctuary for a very long time for the early Bronze Age people of the Netherlands. The sanctuary itself spans over four football fields, which for my American viewers is four soccer fields. And I don't know how much that is in Ariana Grandes. The so-called Henge was built at the end of the Stone Age and the beginning of the Bronze Age. So the most important elements at the sanctuary are three earth mounds. In these mounds, the remains of at least 60 men, women and children were found. And outside of the mounds, in another location, the researchers found the remains of another 20 people. The largest mound at the site would have served as a solar calendar as well as a burial mound. The researchers discovered rows of pole-lined paths that would have most likely been used for like parades, things like that. And next to the largest mound, the researchers have discovered that there would have been wooden farmhouses. So the researchers have assumed that the largest mound at this location would have been an observatory, a very important place where people kept track of special days in the year, like for instance, the solstices and equinoxes. But why would researchers assume this? You might ask yourself that. Well, this is actually easily explained. Around the largest mound, there's a shallow ditch with several passages. On certain days of the year, the sun would shine straight through those passages on the hill, just like we see at Newgrange in Ireland at the winter solstice. Of course, here in Tiel, the summer and winter solstices would have been the most important days. Not only would these passages show the most important days of the year, but there's also a ritualistic undertone as well. As the sun would shine on the mound of the dead, on these special days as well, lighting up the ancestors of the people worshipping at this location. So why would the researchers compare this location to Stonehenge in England and is this comparison an exaggeration? The discovery shows that the Bronze Age people in Tiel, with their environment, the solar calendar, the burial mounds and the worship of the dead were no different from people living in other locations around the same time. For a long time it was believed that the Netherlands was less exciting and less developed when it comes to ancient monuments. I mean, we do have 54 dolmens in the east of our country, located in the provinces of Drenthe and Groningen. I even covered two of these dolmens in a video all the way back in 2020, and I'll put that video here for you in the upper right corner for you to click on if you want to watch it. 
But the people living in the Netherlands in the Stone Age and Bronze Age actually shared ideas with cultures far beyond the limits of the country of the Netherlands. Building monuments and great tombs in line with the movements of the sun shows their sophistication as well. Of course, there's a main difference between the remains of these burial mounds in Teal and the burial mounds in Ireland and, you know, Stonehenge in England. And that main difference is the fact that no stones were found at this location. The people living in the Netherlands at the end of the Stone Age and beginning of the Bronze Age were really not building with stone at all, but they used wood and, of course, earth, because that was in abundance here. But this would also make it a lot more difficult to discover these ancient sanctuaries, and they leave little to no trace unless you know what to look for. In the places where the passages would let the sun shine on the mound, the researchers actually discovered numerous so-called sacrifices. One of these sacrifices was the skull of a woman. This woman may have held an important role in the community she was a part of. Of course, it's impossible to know what the people in the area believed nearly 4,000 years ago, but there are so many sun and moon worshipping locations in Europe that are similar that we can at least know for sure that the sun and the moon played extremely big roles in their lives. The sun that died in the winter and would come to life again in spring, ripening the crops, driving out the cold and the darkness. The dead played a major role in this cycle of life. The people back then would have probably wanted to keep some sort of contact with their ancestors to understand the order of the cosmos and to retain balance of nature. And for them, this would have ensured the return of the sun, which would lead to good harvests and abundant nature. Another reason this discovery is so unique has to do with the insane amount of artifacts found at the site. And when I say insane, I honestly mean insane. The archaeologists have unearthed more than one million objects at the sanctuary site. Of course, this massive amount of artifacts made the excavations very extensive, and this is one of the reasons it took so long for the archaeologists to conclude the excavations. Among these artifacts was a glass bead that originates from Mesopotamia, you know, the area between the rivers Tigris and Euphrates. This is the oldest glass bead to have ever been found in the Netherlands. According to the researchers, this glass bead shows that the inhabitants of the Netherlands during the early Bronze Age were in contact with people almost 5,000 kilometers away at least 4,000 years ago, proving that people exchanged things far beyond their own area, just like the idea of the solar calendar. Knowledge and objects were shared with people from much further away than we had previously thought. Unfortunately, the discovery consists of traces in the ground that are no longer visible from the outside, but a number of the objects unearthed in the discovery will be on display in the upcoming months at the Regional Museum in Tiel and in the National Museum of Antiquities in Leiden you can view a grave of several people from the sanctuary of Tiel. I've actually created a museum tour of the National Antiquities Museum in Leiden on my channel in the past, and I'll put that as a card in the upper right corner for you to click on as well, I highly recommend watching that video. I am personally a little bit stunned by this discovery. I, it honestly never really crossed my mind that we could ever have a discovery of this magnitude and sophistication in my tiny country. I always thought that the people living here 4,000 years ago didn't create long-lasting monuments, especially not a sanctuary site this big that they had used for over 800 years. But what do you think of this latest discovery? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like these. And click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click one of the links in the description down below or click a video in the end card. I would like to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It actually means the world to me and I am eternally grateful. And yeah, this was this video. I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye guys.